beautiful giant mud crab. What a bugger! Male on the back there. Yeah! Over the next couple of days, I'm searching for as many giant mud crabs as I can find. The smallest mud crab. Oh. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm doing this. I want to find out more. There's just not enough information on crabs. Two beautiful nippers. Wow! <laughs> Look at this guy. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, uh, don't you go in there. Oh, uh, he's in actually a pretty good spot, to be honest with you guys. Damn, he's like in there. If he had two cores, it'd almost be impossible. He's not letting go of that log. So he thinks he's actually got me and pinned me down, so he won't let go of that. Ah, he's actually... Ah. There we go. I oh. <laughs> got him, but I'm going to take his details down and let him go. And we're on a roll here, guys. Hello, you are beautiful, aren't you? I'm not gonna just, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna disturb you. you, got a female there, you're doing your thing. The female's got no claws at all. So we'll note that down and no back swimmer. Okay, mate, he's protecting her. That is unbelievable. That is a big one. Woo, see you buddy, have a good one. Right here, we have a buried mud crab. That's his eyes there facing you guys. He won't do anything at all, at all, until I actually touch him. He is relying on that. Oh, it's a female, boom! A beautiful female. She can quickly bury herself anywhere using these big legs. Hey, hey, I don't want to hurt you, mate. I don't want to hurt you. All right, oh, with that, I'll leave you alone. You have a bloody good one. See you, mate. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. And that is a bloody good sign that there's a monster around. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squashing my finger in between his nipper there. <laughs> Don't go that way though. I'm gonna put him back in his hole just show you guys what a proper full size, oh, there's a shark there. Full size mud crab is. Two beautiful nippers, solid as. That would be delicious, but he is going back in his home for another day. See you, buddy. Don't you dare, buddy, bite me. All right, all right, mate, you can go in. I know you think, fella. <laughs> oh my God. You can see it from a mile away. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Male on the back there, female down there. They are making the life cycle go round and round. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about it, but well, these two finish getting it on. A mud crab's life begins as a tiny little larva floating out at sea amongst the plankton. Over the next couple of months, it'll develop into a tiny little mud crab, and slowly but surely, it'll make its way to the coastline where it'll find shelter. Over the next year, that tiny little mud crab will keep growing and growing and growing until it reaches sexual maturity. In the warmer months, the mature females release a pheromone, like a chemical which will attract all the males into the area wherever she is. Once paired, the male climbs up on top of the female, clasping her with his hind legs, picks her up, and carries her around for up to four days. He deposits a little capsule of sperm inside a reproductive opening and it's stored there for months until it's ready to be fertilized. Once the female heads offshore into the deep blue, little is known, but she will release her eggs once they are ready to hatch and the life cycle of the mud crab will continue on and on. We're deep in the mangroves now. I just found a hole up here, it's got a big crab. Sitting at the front of a jack -ups going in. We gotta run and try and get him before he tucks back into his hole. If he went in there, that hole would've went all the way down there, there's no way it would've grabbed him. Beautiful mud crab, look at the color of this dude's nippers. <laughs> 
or put him in their butt, and this is what would have happened. Ready? Watch how quick they go in. And he is gone. Oh, don't bite me, don't bite me. All right, buddy. Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! Here we go, a giant mud crab, just like that. Found another female crab. She's buried in the water here. She's a huge girl. One nipper though. Massive. Oh, they're so angry. Look at those. <laughs> Speed mode. Jeez, it almost got me then. I'll leave her there. She's super grumpy. Another great sign. Heaps of female mud crabs around. There's got to be a big buck here. Whoa, look at this one. Whoa, out in the open here. Look at him putting the water through his mouth there like a jet. I don't want to get too close because he'll get me. Absolutely insane. What are you doing? Looks like he's been digging around here. I don't know what exactly he's been doing. Boom. Just like that. Monster Muddy. Another one. Nice male, another missing nipper. Found a lot with missing nippers. Beautiful butt, nice and full. Well, I don't know what you're up to, but good luck with it. See ya. <laughs> Believe it or not, mud crabs are a lot more active during the high tides. The males will come out of their burrows and head towards the females are to mate. Often, two or three big males will go to the same hole where the females let out that scent and they will battle. He's got no nippers. Oh, he's got no nippers at all. I can't believe that. I was feeling it, I was like, am I grabbing a rock or what? I've never really grabbed one with no nippers before. Wow. I wonder how long that'll survive with no nippers. I feel so bad for him, but I guess that's nature. And uh, giving him the benefit of the doubt, he will survive. They're tough buggers. <laughs> This technique that I'm going to show you is with this crab hook right here. It's pretty easy to make. We made it ourselves. Just a bend at the end there, and that's designed to get underneath the nipper and guide them out of the hole. You see how I've got him under the under the nipper there? You can see that. And you just want to guide him out. He'll he'll try everything he bloody can. There we go. That's a mud crab there. He's missing a nipper. He's actually got a war wound on top there where another crab has grabbed him. We'll put this guy back. Oh, the whole yeah. hook's gone. <laughs> At least two meters deep or more. Have a little crab hole here. Oh, no, no, yep, yep, got one. Now there's one in there. We've got him hooked, but he's, uh, there he is. So he's got himself stuck in the ground with his big powerful legs. But what happens when they feel really threatened is they'll actually basically let go of their arm doesn't take much force at all. This guy's huge, his nipper's massive. Oh, this is a bad situation. <laughs> Got him, don't know where his nipper is, it's rogue. Looks like he's pretty big, eh? He's big, oh yes, I've got him by the back swimmers. Is that? Yep. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful muddy, missing a nipper. I wish I knew that from the start, I would've went in more aggressive, but that's bloody huge. That's a combination of both the hook and bare hands. <laughs> Awesome. Let's keep looking, eh? Another one for the books. Cha-ching! Well, these are the easiest crabs to find. This guy here is a little male, and he's obviously gone looking and got himself in a place he doesn't really want to be. That's why he's so aggro. Flexible. <laughs> so, you can tell it's a little male by the more triangular back part there. The females have that rounded surface there. But he's only small, his nippers are only just developing. You know, the big mud crabs are like double that. And uh, he's out and about, a very young crab, maybe not even a year old yet. Here he goes. Look at that. <laughs> right on, mate, have a good one. Oh, he's coming out, Oh, he's coming out. There's two of them. There's two of them. I'll put the GoPro in there so you guys get a better look. Oh. 
This is, whoa, the smallest mud crab that I've ever seen. He is tiny. Never seen one that small before. Look at him. Put him back down. Don't know what you're doing out here, mate, but good luck. Uh, uh. No matter how many times I do this, it doesn't get easier, this first initial thing. There's a crab in here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Just as I expected. These guys had battled for the femur. The other guy had one. And uh, he's just licking his wounds in his hole. Another one on the list. Just lost the nipper. A few other scratches and wounds on him. Insane. There you go, buddy. That is awesome. Let's keep moving. There's a mud crab out of that hole right there. Oh. 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 She's a little female. I thought it was a little male, but... Sorry, sweetie, I thought you were a male. Good luck. Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> it's a little one. Look at the size of him. Hey, buddy. Okay, you can go back in. <laughs> Just a baby. Little baby one. Oh, well, it counts. Look at that. I'm gonna watch those claws. Look at her. Camouflage. Ah, I'm not gonna do anything, baby. How cool. I come to put my arm in here like this and I must have spooked that crab. He comes charging out here and he's out in the open. A big male mud crab with one nipper. <laughs> alright buddy, okay. Alright, I'm just going to pick... Let me get behind you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. A big male mud crab. He's missing a nipper. Obviously lost that in battle because there'd be a lot of battling going around here with the mount of fitness. Try to, you're in the hole. Get out of the hole. There you go, buddy. Yes, yes, okay. See ya. I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, but he's dead. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Just about hit me on the forearm there. Because he's way in. What is this? He's trying to get me. Thanks, mate. Woohoo! See ya, buddy. Woohoo! 